Welcome back, Trainers Go Battle League is back online, but there are still some issues here. So what I was running into, and we're going to get into some new information that is actually emerging here from Niantic as far as what's going on with rewards. But as you can see here, this is going to be a clean cut example. Um, basically, you're going to be not able to hit all of your quick moves and gain energy, giving your opponent the advantage. And as you can see, I just completely stopped uh, attacking, but you can clearly see me tapping the screen there. It's not like I lifted my finger up or anything. This was happening through the whole duration of my battles, uh, not just to me, to, to my opponents as well, right? All right, so some information from Niantic. We'd like to apologize for the extended downtime. Please know that the team worked fast over the past week to properly resolve this issue and thoroughly test our fix. In the meantime, please see the below updates for season two schedule. So, all right, cool. I'm not going to really be too harsh on them because honestly, I, like I've stated before, I'm becoming numb to all of this brokenness in the Go Battle League. Uh, anyways, increased daily sets. Daily sets will increase from five to six. So an extra five battles. Awesome. This change will be permanent for season two. Uh, a week of boosted Go Battle League rewards from Tuesday, June 23rd until uh, Tuesday, June 30th at 1 p.m. PDT. Uh, so the Go Battle League win rewards will change for the basic and premium track, which can't complain, right? Honestly, you know, just going to give us some stuff, switch it up, make it a little bit easier for us to get specific things. Hey, always welcome, right? The Pokemon encounters will change for the basic and premium reward tracks. Snivy, Tempic, and Oshuat will no longer be available in the Go Battle League encounters. So that's for now, right? Uh, fantastic. Can't complain. For the premium track... Only the Rare Candy rewards will be available at the 4th slot instead of the 5th slot. The Go Battle League leaderboard will be temporarily disabled, so until further notice, how we all know the reason why, they probably just want to monitor it like they state to make sure there's no funny business going on here, right? Alrighty, so let's get into my battles here. We're going to be taking a look at two sets that I did go 4 and 1, and my first set, as a matter of fact, was 4 and 1. Pretty happy for that return, but I'm going to tell you this right here. There was a hard decline, and I didn't necessarily play bad or nothing like that. It was the fact that it was so broken, right? I will spare you all of the clips. You saw the example in the beginning, and you're going to see some throughout this video here, not from just my side, but from my opponents giving me the advantage, giving them the advantage. It's just a big mess, right? All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. So Gramble, fantastic. We all know it's great <laughs> as I take it out with my Escavalier. <laughs> all right, so they're bringing in their Machamp here, taking neutral damage from the counter, able to get out that drill run here. And we still have the Gramble and a uh, Swampert in the back. Really love that Swampert. You know, it's super spammy with that Hydro Cannon, of course. And they're hitting us with that Rock Slide, bringing in a Heatran. So, oof. The algorithm did not like them this round. As you can see, we had just the perfect matchup for every single Pokemon that they did have. And that's another thing. <laughs> going up against your friends is one thing. Going up against the Go Battle League is another. Because if you do not know by now or are still in denial, there is most certainly 100% an algorithm, right? We don't need to go all the way down that road, but it's basically to just keep balance. And uh, we're going to be able to take the win here with the... Swampert, Hydro Cannon, all right? And just one thing I just have to address if somebody's like, well, if it's, if there's an algorithm, wouldn't you be, you know, why do you get the advantage sometimes? Like I just stated, it's kind of like to keep the balance. Sometimes it helps you, sometimes it doesn't. Anyways, we are up against the Cresselli here and we're going in with the uh, Escavalier. We're just going to go straight for that Mega Horn, doing a ton of damage. Our attack did drop at this point, so... Yeah, not, not the best, but still we're able to get that through. They didn't use a shield. And we're going to just continue on here, building up a little bit extra to make them think we're going for a Mega Horn. Let's see if they're going to use a shield at this point. And they do fantastic. That's great. Oh, and they're swapping, taking us out. Very clean, very nice. But the thing is, they're locked in at this point. And we have a Swamper ready to go. So, hey, hey, let's do it. They have one shield left and we still have two. We're going to go ahead and let that first Blast Burn go through, building up a lot more energy than needed here. And then swapping into... Our Gramble, what I was trying to do was uh, actually take it out with the charm. I did, wasn't expecting it to actually get off a charge move there, but that's okay. Our plan is still going to work perfectly fine here. Going to go ahead and let this Moonblast go through. 
Please don't drop my attack. No attack drop. Fantastic. Going to go ahead and farm it all the way down here. And we have a lot of energy ready to go up against that Obstagoon. Doing super effective with that charm. And this is not going to be very effective, but I would assume they're going to shield it up. Nope, they didn't. They are a brave soul here. And we're just going to continue on. And they're getting off their energy right as we're about to faint here. Maybe they thought we were going to as well. Well, another charm would have taken them out. So they don't want to waste their energy. All right. And we're able to take the win. Sorry if I'm talking a little too fast. Here we go. Remember, this is how we do it. And we're met with a great lead. And they're swapping into Swampert. We're going to go right into our Escavalier. Not the best matchup for us here, but it's fine. Let's just work with what we got. We're going to go ahead and go with that Drill Run here. Doing a ton of damage. They let it go through, saving that shield. Maybe they got a plan up their sleeve here. Hitting us with Earthquake. Oh, okay. I see what they're trying to do here. And le leaving us with just like 1 or 2 HP, which is great. They're not going to be able to farm us. We're going to be able to go right back in here with the Gramble. Waiting for that clock to be done. And they're going to be swapping right into that Reggie Steel. We have another counter yet again in the back, which is going to just be able to kind of dominate the Reggie Steel here. They're going for a Flash Cannon. Probably try to bait out that last shield. And they still have two holding on to those. And they're finally using that first one. Probably going to be wise to do that right there. And I think we're going to go ahead and go for another one. Another Hydro Cannon, that is. Uh, because, I mean, they have to keep this thing alive. And there it goes. There's that second shield. And we built so much energy at this point. We're going to be able to just go for Earthquake and take it out. In comes the Giratina. And this is a game over here. I do believe I back out. Or we're just going to charm him down. Or crunch and then charm. All right, never mind. And Gramble helping me take the win yet again. Fantastic. Now, if you're wondering, well, why not Togekiss? I mean, Togekiss is great for sure. It's just the moves that we have on Gramble. Crunch and Close Combat. It's going to give me a little bit of coverage that I need for the team comp that I do have going on here. Now, you could also run Snarl on Gramble. I mean, that would be amazing uh, because it does gain energy really fast. You're going to be able to spam those charge moves. So we've seen it before. We've tested it out. It's fantastic. Maybe you want to give it a try. Uh, so up against the Gyarados here, we're going to be resisting those Dragon Breaths. And we're going to go ahead and do not very effective Drill Run because, well, it is squishy. We got off a Mega Horn. That's perfect. Or was it a Mega Horn? Uh, and hitting us with the Crunch. Shielding it up. We want to win this matchup. We want to see what they're going to bring in here. Doesn't matter if we're going to survive with barely any health. We have energy ready to go. Getting off this Drill Run onto that Giratina. All right, perfect. And now we're going to be able to pick which one we go in here with. And obviously, we're going to go with the Gramble. They're going to be making a switch into a Registeel immediately. And we're going to go right into that Swampert here. Now, we still need to be careful because they still have two shields. It's not like we have won this battle. Going for another Hydro Cannon here. And we're going to be getting a shield out of them, of course. So we're going to be building up a lot more energy. Let's see if we can uh, win this here. So building it up, building it up. We're going to go for another Hydro Cannon to potentially get their last shield. And then go for an Earthquake, and that should secure the win. We do have the Gramble in the back that can take care of that Giratina that they do have lying in wait. And getting ready for that swap, and then they do give up the match. So good game. And moving it on to the next one here. Starting it with the, of course, Gramble. We're met with an Obstagoon. We're just getting all kinds of good leads here. Expecting them to swap here. Now... I think this is a little soon for a gunk shot, but I wanted to play it safe. It was a cross shot, not very effective. So, well played. You got me there. Uh, maybe you should have went for Night Slash to potentially get the boost, but hey, who am I to tell you what to do? And we're met with a Swampert here, and we're just going to go for the Crunch. We don't really want to lower our defense at this point. We just still want to do as much charm damage. Uh, and, of course, they're going to be getting off a Hydro Cannon here. And we're not going to shield it up, letting us take it out, us out. And going to be going in here with the Swampert here. And they do have a bit of an energy advantage on us. So, ah, uh, yeah. Let's see how this plays out. All right. Okay. Looks like I was maybe getting ready to swap, thinking that they potentially might as well. Going for our own Hydro Cannon, getting ready for another swap here. I think I might shield this up. Yeah. It's getting a little dangerous, right? And we're going to go for that Hydro Cannon immediately. Because, well, we do not know exactly where they're at. Swapping into our Escavalier, I was trying to finish it off before I was able to get off a charge move. You know how you do that little tactic. But they made a swap immediately into their Giratina. And, well, we're not doing very effective damage with our quick moves here. They do have Shadow Claw, so that's going to be nice neutral damage as well as gaining energy faster than Dragon Breath. So, not looking great, but they're hitting me with Dragon Claw. So, uh, I'm wondering if they only have one charge move or they have Ancient Power. I think Ancient Power would still have been a better option to go with. 
I don't, I'm not too sure the situation here, but nonetheless, they're hitting us like that. They're still able to take us out. Building up to Hydro Cannon on our Swamper, which is fantastic. And what's it going to be? Oh, man. Okay, I remember this one here. What I was thinking is I should have farmed just a little bit more on the Giratina with my Swamper. We could have potentially had a Hydro Cannon ready to go, but hey, we were so close to getting 5 out of 5. Uh, getting 4, that's perfectly fine. First battle's back. Feeling good, but after this, it just went downhill, like really bad. I'm not going to include those battles in this video. We'll take a look at them probably maybe later on or something like that. But just know there was just a ton of lag. That's simple as that. So our rank is not the best because <laughs> we were experimenting before Go Battle League went down. All right, so we're moving on up though. But guess what? We gained all these points, and here's the paddle. Here's the problem with Go Battle League. Uh, real quick, uh, we'll get back into these. But look at that Galarian Stunfisk. Are you kidding me? Yikes. So, yeah. Uh, here's the problem. You gain all these points. You work your butt off. You do good. Play well. Right. And then all of a sudden, you go into the ba the battles again. And all, all you're getting is a bunch of lag. So, and then you lose all the points you just earned. It's so punishing. And then so very little rewarding when you do play well. And then you get these points. And then you play kind of slightly not the best. You, you know, say get two out of five and then it just drops you so hard it's such a ridiculous system and a few people were telling me on twitter that some people were having issues with their wi-fi which uh i don't understand that i you would think that the wi-fi would work better but hey i didn't question it and they said you know try your data i tried my data and guess what it was just as bad so don't want to dismiss that as not true, but it didn't work for me personally. So anyways, looking at these battles here, up against Obstagoon with our Swampert, we're going to let this go through and try to farm down. All right, all right, all right. Can we do it? Okay, perfect. Can we get to a Hydro Cannon? Yes, we can. Fantastic. This Cresselia is going to probably farm us down more than likely here. Or are they? Or can they? Oh man, get into another Hydro Cannon. Let's go. All right, all right. I remember, I remember this battle now. Fantastic. Swapping into our uh, S Cavalier. Ah, oh, man, this Pokemon is so good for sure. It is real nice, right? But it does need to look out for fire. It's just going to go down immediately because of that steel and bug typing. All right, so they are blocking up our drill run, and they're hitting us with a Moonblast. Not very effective. Our attack didn't drop. We're going to be using Counter for our quick move and not very effective. So both ends not very effective with the quick move hitting us with another or a future site this time, doing a little bit more damage. We're going to go ahead and go for that Mega Horn and take the win with the Escavalier. Moving it on to our next battle, and GG's to everybody, right? Always. If I don't say them, it's not like it's not a good game or nothing like that. So they're making a swap into the Swamper. We're going to be making a slow swap into our own Swamper here, hitting us with that Hydro Cannon. And so basically, what's happening here, let me explain this just a little bit further as far as the lag and stuff. Um, there was issues happening without Go Battle League. I was battling other people, my friends or whatever, before it was actually opened back up. And after you get off a charge move, you don't attack right away. Or after they get off a charge move, you don't attack, attack right away. It could be on both ends. Sometimes it's both of you. Sometimes it's just one. But that is a very bad issue here. After you get off a charge move, you're not able to attack. You sit there for a few seconds and it's like, what are you kidding me here? So I've seen it a few times to the opponent that was it was happening to them. And I was like, you know, I'm not going to not attack. <laughs> this is Go Battle League. It's like every man for himself, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Um, it happened to me too. So eight, hey, I, I had to bite the bullet and take those losses. Anyways, we're going to be bringing in our S Cavalier here. Shields are down on their end. And I do believe I'm going to be up shielding this up for sure. We want to preserve that health on the S Cavalier. And they're making a swap into Obstagoon, farming a little bit more. Going to go ahead and let whatever they're going to hit us with go through. We're going to be perfectly fine to survive. Good thing they did not get the attack boost. Getting a little bit more energy, going for that drill run here. We should be able to get to it. Yep, we built up to two. Perfect. And we're going to be able to take out this Swampert with the S Cavalier. Taking the win. Fantastic. Moving it on to our next opponent. Looks like a prior level 10. Rank 10, I should say. <laughs> Uh, we're met with a Cloister, so this was troubling. Didn't really like this matchup too much. Icy Wind's going to be lowering our attack, but the Charm is going to be digging in. Cloister should have more defense. I feel like should be a tankier Pokemon with that hard shell and all that stuff, but it's just not really taking the Charms too well. And it's going down. Making a swap into Escavalier here. 
I was just praying it wasn't going to get off another icy win and we were able to do it. That was big right there because if they did lower our attack while we're locked in, I'm pretty sure we would have lost this for sure. So going for, well, I don't even, do I even win this? Let's, let's see. Um, yeah, so up against the Giratina here, this is, you know, it's not the best situation really at all. Joel Run's going to do okay damage. Mega Horn's not even worth going for. Uh, so we're just going to keep doing this. I think we're just going to let it, we're not going down because... Yeah, Dragon Claw, not very effective. Going in with the Gramble, doing as much damage as I can before I go down here. And all it needed was a Sliver of Health because we resist it being that Fairy type. And Charm just does so much so quickly. Going in with Escavalier, farming down. Wow, that was really risky. Now we have energy ready to go. We're just going to be going for that Drill Run. We don't even know what they're throwing out. It's going to be that Obstagoon there. And we have a Swampert in the back with a Shield. And this is pretty much game over. Unless they get the boost two times in a row, I think they could win it that way. Otherwise, we have this in the back here. For his Hydro Cannon. And then I do believe I'm going to go for an Earthquake. I don't think that was necessary at all. But I do anyways, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I go for... <laughs> okay, Flexa. Okay, so going for that Earthquake, taking out Obstagoon, and taking the win here. Moving it on to our next opponent. We're met with a Togekiss. All right, let's see how this is going to work out here. All right, so who's going to get to the yellow first? Oh, it looks like I think me. But we're able to get to a charge move here. Let's see if they decide to shield it up or let it go down. They're letting it go down. And now they're bringing out the Empoleon, which is not good for us. We do have Escavalier, so it's not an all bad situation. But Charm is going to be resisted because of that steel typing. Hydro Cannon, as we know, always hurts. They're bringing in a Giratina. And our, well, Giratina Destroyer is basically down at this point. That's why I made a few adjustments later on here. So not going to really swap into our... Are we going to swap into Swampert? Okay, that works. Going for the Hydro Cannon, making them think we're going to be going for an Earthquake here. All right, fantastic. We get a shield out of them. That is good news for us. And we're going to go ahead and let this one go through. It's going to be that Dragon Claw. Swampert's able to tank it. A little bit tankier in the Ultra League, right? And another Dragon Claw. Oh, and we're able to, wow, get off this Earthquake. Are they going to use a shield? They let it go through. Fantastic. Taking us down, and we have a shield left, and so do they. But I think I'm going to be losing this because... Um, we're just going to get taken down by waterfall damage. Yep, and we have a shield left, unfortunately. So, good game. Well played. Alrighty. Moving it on to the next battle here. We're met by a rank 9 and a Swampert. Not a good situation for me. And this is going to be the last battle, as a matter of fact, because of that Togekiss, like we described. Just wanted to test it out. I was like, you know, let's just go and see what happens really quick here. So, we're building up a ton of energy, and... We tried to hit our charge move, but it didn't go off. And he goes with that Hydro Cannon here. That's going to be that second one going for a Drill Run. Using a Shield, like expected. Making a swap into Gyarados. And we're going to go ahead and go with our Togekiss. Because we're going to be resisting the Dragon Breath. As well as the Crunch here. And I feel like that was a bit of a good charge. So they're going to hit us with Hydro Pump. And that's exactly what it was. So good thing we did shield that up. And now we have a bunch of energy on our Togekiss here. They're going in with a Registeel. And we're going to go ahead and go with the flamethrower here if they wanted to use the shield that's perfectly fine if they want to use that last one but we should be able to handle that with the reggie or the uh, a swampert in the back right taking us down with that flash cannon easy money or we're going to go in here with the escavalier with loaded energy i don't know what i'm talking about and get that off get that last shield and then swap it to our swampert here and that's perfectly fine if shields are down we're going to be able to take them out as soon as we get to a hydro cannon we're going to be building up a little bit of extra energy here so we can uh, get that next Pokemon right. In comes the Registeel, and we're just going to go for a Hydro Cannon because we will be able to just take it out with the Escavalier at this point with uh, counters if they do take us out with a Focus Blast. Flash Cannon, all right, maybe they just got a little nervous. They're like, whatever, I lost this in good games. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, folks, please give it a big thumbs up. I'll be keeping you up to date on everything Pokemon Go. Hopefully, you're not having a bunch of laggy battles and you're having some fun times in the Go Battle League. Because it was down for quite some time and it's nice to get back in here even though it's a bit laggy. Thank you for watching and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care trainers.